Hello, welcome to my epic video. Just to be clear, I take blinking LEDs very seriously. Arduino Blink Sketch is the main weapon when testing a new development board. Blink Sketch was the first sketch I uploaded to my first Arduino Uno. I don't use Arduinos anymore, but I still use Arduino IDE. Many people hate Arduino IDE, I hate beans. Blink Sketch deserves to be treated with respect. So I made this ultimate epic pro Blink Sketch. This is my new friend LilyGo TQT, the smallest board in the LilyGo family. The brain of this board is an ESP32-S3 chip and on top we can see this 128x128 display. I added this potentiometer and this LED. The result is this piece of technology. If we take a look at the original Blink sketch, we can see brilliant simplicity. LED will turn on and it will remain on for a certain time. LED will go off and it will remain off for some time. Problem is, after a sketch is uploaded it is impossible to change on per period and off period. That's why I invented Pro Blink. Now I can change on time and off time whenever I want using this potentiometer and these two push buttons. I can change this value which represents the on period. Value is multiplied with selector, selected multiplier. This value is used to set off period. Value is also multiplied with its own multiplier. With this button I can choose on time or off time. And with this I can change multiplier. If you want to use my code you can find it in description. Code will work on other boards also like T-Display S3, T-Display. You can use any board and any display. If you want to buy this board affiliate link is in description. If you buy this I will get 2% which is 18 cents. Yes, one day I will be rich and I will hang only with rich people. You can also choose this version with this shell or case, which is cool. If you don't want to buy this you can be useful in many other ways. You can like, comment, share, subscribe, you can buy me a coffee or you can watch this video multiple times. TQT is an interesting board because of its size. In this project I wanted to see what I can fit on this tiny display. It is small, but it still can show a nice amount of useful data. Mm -hmm. We have 11 free input-output means, two push buttons and this I2C connector, which I used in my last video. You can find that video in description. There is no connector for the battery, but there is place where the battery can be soldered. And both of these cables are included. Great thing is that this board will recharge your battery if the USB cable is connected. Charger IC is under display. Once again, they used this acrylic mount for display. So now it is stronger and it looks nicer. Here we have reset and here is connector for external antenna if you want better reception. Thank you for watching the whole video. Tell me what you think. Is this useful? Can this be used for something else? Whatever you think, history will always know me as a person who spent many hours to program this piece of technology, which is used to blink in one elegant and noble way. 
Thank you and have a nice day.